Yo, 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 what's up, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Top 10 Topics. This is now episode 34. This is going to be a short, quick one. So bear with me, y'all. We're going to have a little fun right here. We're going to get on to a relationship talk here. We're going to talk a little bit about why relationships in 2024 don't last. Everybody talk about it's not love no more in the world. There's a lot of things going on. All this craziness. We're going to find out by my two guests here, man. I'm going to introduce themselves. To my left, y'all right. Josh Thomas. Justine. Those are my guests, and they're about to help me dissect, man, really, why relationships in 2024 don't last these days. We're going to get their input, their insight from a man's perspective and a woman's perspective. We're going to see exactly what they think. Start off with my boy Josh here, man. Josh, why do you feel like 2024, like relationships really just always it just be for the moment? Put it that way, it be for the moment. I feel like the main reason is because when you look at social media, when you look at what's on television, it promotes a type of picture or type of scenario where um, you know, everyone's winning financially, um, they're promoting certain practices that relationships uh, honestly will suffer from that a lot of people, you know, do. It's privacy in your bedroom. You do what you want to do. But, you know, certain things is detrimental to a relationship, to a person trusting the other that's supposed to be their significant other. Um, I so just, I want to cut you off. So you believe that a lot of these relationships they see that's going on right now is highly influenced by social media, like the influences, basically like, all the celebrity lifestyles and what they got going on. They try to live up to their lifestyles. You feel it, like it's not even trying to live up some and, and certain and a certain amount will be to live up to their lifestyle. But others is just constantly repeatedly seeing something being exposed to something, you know, you become intrigued and you try it out. And when you try that, whatever may be out, um, I feel like the relationship is, is the, the thing that's going to take the um, the brunt of whatever uh, repercussion is. For example, I'll be more specific. For sure. You know, um, this whole thing of monogamy not really being the the go to right. triangle relationships, things of that sort, it, it becomes a bit dysfunctional. And in my honest opinion, according to how I was raised and how I live, you know, it's that's not how it's supposed to be. Mm-hmm. You know, um, and I feel like that's just I just bring that up because all throughout social media, you see that kind of talked about on YouTube, discuss. Um, that's probably one of the leading reasons why a lot of relationships end because when they start with a specific person. He getting deep, fellas. He getting deep. They uh, oftentimes they want that significant other, the female or vice versa, the male, to allow them to venture out and to um, explore certain fantasies or whatever that they may have. I like that point. I like that point. I have something else. I don't want to forget about this. What you think about what he said? Do you feel like what? How do you feel about relationships in 2024? Do you feel like love is still there in the end, or you feel like? This time and age, love don't work, that don't exist no more. People just out here having fun, sex, 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 and that's just party too. You know what I'm saying? Can't yeah. party no more. I agree with a lot of what Josh was saying. Um, social media does jade a lot of what we see as far as relationships mm-hmm. and even just like yourself, because we paint this picture on social media and you see this, but then when you finally meet somebody in person. A lot of the people don't even look like the people on social media. That's for sure. But um, catfishes, I know a few. I think it's just a little bit different for me because I was blessed enough to be raised with both my parents in the same home. My parents were married, and not a lot of people get that. So that's something that I want: marriage, a family, kids, all that. So, mm-hmm. but social media. Me personally, I feel like I feel like love is something to air. I feel like it's real love out here still. I feel like a lot of people always put this negative light on love in 2024, like it's not real no more because maybe that person or individual ran into the wrong person. I feel like with love and things like that, I feel like that takes time. It takes people out here out running and chasing and looking for, you know what I'm saying, that Instagram love, 
that I'm saying that Dwayne Wade, that Gabriel Union, Le- LeBron and Savannah, or whatever the case may be. I'm just throwing names out there of big time celebrities that everybody prays and say, oh, we want that. You know what I'm saying? Versus really soul searching and figuring out who they are as first, first, first as yeah. males or females first and understanding what they want. Because a lot of people be wanting materialistic things. They feel like, oh, because he's a rapper, he got chains and PJs that, oh, I want him because of that and not because of who he is. You feel me? So things feel like it don't last and it's not real love because you came in there with a materialistic mindset versus mm-hmm. the foundation and what it is. And I feel like a lot of things ain't built on foundation no more. Mm-hmm. Everything is about what they can get out of something. Mm-hmm. And when they can't get it no more, oh, he don't love me no more. Oh, she don't love me no more. You know what I'm saying? And I feel like that's... Okay. Now, that, nowadays, bro, it's not even the fact that a person could feel like the individual doesn't love them anymore. A lot of times they know that the person still has tremendous love for them, but the selfish desires they see, they don't feel that they can get what they want out of their significant other anymore. And so you have the result of divorce in this country. Divorce rate is, is through the roof. You know, right. average marriage doesn't last. I believe I may be wrong, but it doesn't last longer than four years. So, um, a lot of times it's, it's not even whether a person's in love or have fallen out of love. Um, it's just with social media, just lifestyle in general with the economy, just going shit prices skyrocketing. Marriages are becoming a business deal. And they're not really uh, fundamentally building upon uh, morality or God or whatever, you know, faith base that a person may have is simply off of what they have in their bank account, what they could provide or get in that moment. I agree. I agree. What you think about that when it comes to for you? When you date someone in 2024, is it big about what they can bring to the table for as materialistic things, or is it big what it can bring to the table for as handle his own shit, for as him having a job, him be able to provide for at least himself and not depend on maybe a woman to take care of? You know what I mean? Um, you stuck. Um, I think because you know, there's a lot of men out here depend on women. For shelter, crib, oh, yeah. all types of stuff like Road, that. You know what I'm saying? And when, meals. Yeah, facts. And when that's not there no more, it feels like, damn, bro, like... People are quick to I give thought up you, me. you feel me? Yeah. And you said something about y'all parents. Y'all both mentioned parents and the way y'all was raised. How important was, like, your parents in relation when it came to you trying to find a man? I wouldn't say find a man, but when it comes to that time you find a man, how important as the things you learn from your family, your mom and dad play a role in you looking into a man and say, this is the type of man I like. I look at a man like my father. And what's different too is that like, since I was raised with both my parents, like I saw struggle. I saw them get frustrated with each other and they never gave up. And it wasn't just because they had a family together. Like they truly do love each other. My parents have been together for... I mean, I'm 26, so like about 28 years. I mean, that's a long time. What about what about you, bro? You feel like for for, for me, um, vice versa. You know, I I I look. I remember every trait that my mom had while I was growing up. I paid a lot of attention. Well, my dad, my mom didn't work. She was a uh, stay at home. She was a housewife. Um, that that played a, a huge. It, it, it left a huge impression on me because now at 32, I don't want a housewife, but um, it's other qualities that my mom showed where she took care. It was a team, you know, my my stepdad, he, he, he went to work, he provided the money, he made sure there was a roof over our head, food to eat. My mom, she took care, she facilitated, took care of bills and things. So I know for me today... I'm looking for a teammate, you know, I'm looking for somebody who can help me take care of responsibilities while also growing and accomplishing and adding to whether it's our lifestyle or goals that we, you know, that we may have, uh, that we want to complete, uh, most importantly together, but also individually. That's kind of what I okay. look for. I got another, tw- another good, good question for you. What do you think about women that always think that when they get with a man, just because he may have money or regardless of a man in general, that a man, it's a man's duty to take care of a woman all the time. That means everything's paid for. Once upon a time, yes. and, and it's I'm still, talking about 2024 20, now. Uh, yeah, yeah. So once Fuck upon a time, now. once upon a time, yes. But today, um, my mindset is unless a person, like you, they say that to live comfortable in the United States of America, you have to make 
I think they said, and when I say comfortable, I mean not have a word. I think they said something around like 10 mil. They said that there are six figure earners uh, living paycheck to paycheck. So when I, why, why do you think is that? Do you think it's because of some of their lifestyle and can't keep up with their bills? Uh, a percentage is lifestyle, but when you look across the country, there are very few states. For example, if we're talking about Midwest, if you go far west, it's just like over here on the East Coast. The, the economy is, like I said, shit, it's expensive. Um, if you're talking about going Midwest, you can't take oftentimes jobs there. Um, so I, overall, it, 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 it's because of the, the, the finances, I would say. Okay. Okay. And what's the thing about that? Like, do you depend on, like, as a woman, do you depend on a man to, 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 to financially take care of everything? Absolutely not. Wow. I can do that on my own. But, but this is a society where most women are just sit pretty, get cute, beat me yeah. in her ass, all that. And it's just like, he does the rest. All and I could do is too, have but... sex with him and do small things like that. And then boom. It's supposed to be all made for just because she can open her legs. Well, it, can, I, I'll ask, right? I, I'm not judging. Like, whatever a person does with their money is what they do, especially if you can afford it. But speaking to... That man, don't go tricking all. I'm going to go on tricking all. Just, There's no money on no, on no, you know what I'm saying, on no cat. You feel me? Speaking of where I can relate, um, it's just, it's not common nowadays for it to just be one person in the household that is earning and bringing it in and then the other person you know tending to the household but not having any type of income coming in sure. so um i don't know why it's been popularized that the man has to take care of everything i know like i said once upon a time in this country um but but it's like also like at that point like what do you bring to the table if you just want somebody to handle it all for you you know Besides cleaning the house and making sure everything's good, hmm. what kind of skills do you bring to the table? Because it's going to be a rainy day. And part of that teamwork, I know for me, is so important because, uh, and I've said this before um, with like past partners that I've had, I could lose my job tomorrow. I can lose my house tomorrow. I can ha- lose my car tomorrow. Can I depend on you to pick up where I'm falling short? I'm going to get back on my feet, done it right. plenty of times. But in the meantime, can I depend on you? And and honestly, my way of thinking is if I can't depend on you, why would I want to be in a relationship with you? Yeah. Because what that is doing, it's it's kind of taking on, and I hate to say baggage, but it's taking on baggage. You, know? you don't feel like, you don't feel like if you can't prepare for a rainy day on your own, how could you expect your partner to be able to pick up that slack if you can't? Pick it up on your own. So, we we you single right now, correct? Mm-hmm. Right now, if you have a rainy day, how would you pick up that slack on your own? Though I mean, right, so that's it's easy to say for myself. I could pick it up, but we're talking about a whole other individual that I'm going to have to. Yeah, that that I have to. That's relying on me and my finances. It's easy. Me, I can easily answer that by saying my savings. I have a savings. If I lose my job, I have about six or more months of savings. I'm gonna be straight. Um, but to bring a whole another person into the scenario, it's another mouth to feed, clothes, um, you know, um, to to. You say clothes? Yeah. You know, about her clothes? Well, if you, do, uh, I'm I'm thinking from aspect of this is my wife. Okay. Right? Okay. I'm not girlfriend. Like a child at that point. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Wait a minute. Like we talking about clothing. Like yeah, well, this is a child. I mean, the, I mean, I, I agree with you. Yeah. If the person doesn't have a job, women, most women feel like you're supposed to clothe them too. Like everything. I need my nails done. I need these new Gucci. Because, because initially that oh, is that is what that's how my mom my mom was taking care of that way growing up. Right. But but you know if that person doesn't have a job, how, how are they going to go to Macy's and buy their, their sales clothes? I'm going to have to close. I will say too, though, like raising kids and I don't have kids myself, but that's also a full-time job. So your mom was still like... I'm going to just be real. I'm a realist. It's a yeah. full-time job. I just don't... Cause I, it's funny you say that I was on Instagram and I saw some politician in the Democratic Party was like, hey, no, you do a career. You're a full-time mom. Let's be real. If you're not bringing in any no type of earning, it's not a career. It is a full-time you know, responsibility, Mm -hmm. but it's not a career because you're not bringing in any type of finances that can better that kid's life, your life, and your partner's life. That's just me being real. Okay. Okay. I I like that. Y'all both said some good points. Another thing that that, that we ran into maybe a few years ago back in Nashville, bro, 
we ran into a funny guy, man. And uh, we have experienced some funny things going on, some crazy weirdness. What do you think about men that believe in polygamy, having multiple wives? You know what I'm saying? Believing that a man shouldn't just be with one woman. You want me to go first? It, yeah. Because uh, you're the man. And so, I didn't hear so as a man of God, I don't believe in that. Um, I believe that God. Why not? You can even get the best of both worlds, though. Yeah, that's that's how that's it, grass cup, is always green on the other side. One cup, it, it one looks like, feet. So but you should be able to find all that in one person. Exactly. But you can't just like. Well, guess what? You, a full hand massage is better than two hand, right? So if one if one rubbing one toe, the other one rubbing the other two to a toe. You're getting what a double. You know what I'm saying? Like, nah, so, it, I don't agree with it either. But like, I'm just like, like, like I said, because I. Like I said, as a man of God, you know, he he created Adam and then to give him company, he took his rib and created a woman. It's it's two. You know, I, I don't believe that um anything I don't believe that's just the way of of I don't think I could serve my God and, and, and be um a good Christian to the best of my capabilities by doing that. I just don't I don't see any good coming from that. So you don't feel like you could be a sister wife to a millionaire, a guy with all this got to make. You ain't got to work or nothing. All you got to just be a sister wife and go wash a couple of dishes and learn how to be a wife when this wife passed the torch down to you. Mm-hmm. Like, what do you think about men that 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 practice that? I won't say practice that because at this, it's real. I would say practice that type of living. Like, you know what I'm saying? Have their own type of living. They believe they both have two wives. Like, how do you feel about that? Some of the men that does that and the women that's in that. There's somewhere else in their life that they're not happy about. That's what I feel. Mm. And when you say not happy, what you feel like? Give me some examples. Could be like, what? Like, what could it be? They not be happy about that make them want to go be underneath the wife and say, I'll just wait my time. for Confidence. There's some guys that lack a lot of confidence. So they need several people. That's why people cheat also. Well, I'm saying from a woman's standpoint, why would you as a woman accept being the sister wife to the real wife? I think the same thing, confidence. Confidence as well as a woman too? You think her, she don't have no confidence? Okay. Absolutely. But then also, depending, like the person that we were talking of, depending on the age of that woman, she could be vulnerable in the aspect of she's not as knowledgeable, having life experience, so she's being taken advantage of and being sold a lifestyle that nine times out of ten, they don't deliver on. And by the time they come to realize that they're so deep in it, they have X amount of kids with that person. They've relied so heavily on that person that they're just like, they can't leave. How do you feel like, what, what, what are these, I want to cut you off, boy. I've just never personally seen like a polygamous relationship work out. So maybe that's why I'm looking at it that way. But what, like, what do you think they, these people learn is that? Like, because. I'm, this is new for me. So it's different. Like, that day when I have to run into that, yeah, that was something you know, I never, I didn't even know what I knew is. of it, but to see it face like head on, that was new. But a lot of times it's, it, it could be just uh, the practice of a certain country because other countries, they, they do that there. Bro, their, their faith. Home moves from here, bro. Mm-hmm. Home moves from here, though. Let's be real. <laughs> Home from here, bro. Like, so I, mean, I, I feel you in countries, bro, bro. He don't live in that country. No, was he born in that country? Where did you learn that at, bro? You didn't learn that I think on those was, streets, yeah, there. yeah. And bro, you read your own type of Bible. You create your own Bible, gang. Okay? Like, he did, he did gang, so like, what, like what? He did, like he that's did. different. Like, you know what I mean? Like, if you was in that situation, that sounds I, like a cult to me. <laughs> wow, it's giving cult vibes. Very much. Yeah. So, back to the next question. Because a lot of people in cults, they also sleep around and do all that. Mm. So back to the real question: Do you believe love is still out there? Do you believe that that do you think love is still out there? Or do you think it's pretty much like ah, twenty twenty four? It's not taking good luck trying to find that. No, I do. Okay, but okay. now in like generations to come, since all these people are getting divorced and these kids are growing up without both parents in the house and stuff like that, or seeing you know what a real family is supposed to be like, then you know it could fade out. What were some of the most traumatic things you saying that's like in y'all life for our relationships? What's some of the traumatic like give me some examples of some of the traumatic things y'all saying? Traumatic things in a relationship? It could have been fight, abuse, all that stuff that could have made relationships look like ah, I'm good on that. It's like that happened to me? Or oh, something that you experienced by just seeing it. Cause I'm trying to get a good reason or good why or why people feel like relationships are just not realistic no more. 
And I was told that relationships are not realistic. Love is not realistic. It's just a fun. It's just a vibe. It's just a heat of a moment. We having a good time, and that's it. It's not. It's nothing really taken serious. No I already feel like it's like who's. I feel like it's who's saying that. I don't feel. I. I, I, I agree. I would I agree. bet. I would put all my points and say bet all everything I got and say that the people that saying that, it, the percentage is a higher than the ones who do believe that love still exists. Um, I just feel like you. You, you gotta. You gotta weed out. You can't be doing all this fuck shit and expecting to find love in it. For sure. If you're going to fuck around, then understand that you're fucking around and what comes with it. But if you really truly look for love, there's people out there, you know, it, it's, I, I believe it still it still exists. It's just that a lot of people don't want to dedicate the time to, to reaching and discovering and, and, and getting and receiving that love because it's harder to get to than being lustful, I guess. For sure. Yeah. I was going to say something about online dating because today online dating is just... I, I, you I just want to say that you took the, the, the words right out of my mouth. Like I was about to Hinge say. and um, Tinder and BLK. Bumble. And oh, Bumble, what's that? Yeah, that's another one. I think one. Bumble's the one where... Facebook dating? Facebook dating. Right. MySpace dating? Next thing you know, they're going to have Instagram that. dating. Bebo dating? Ubu dating? <laughs> he must have all that. How are they dating? Like, all that. Why not? Like, we all doing it. But... Do you feel like now dating has gotten lazy to the point now people don't do the footwork no more and go out there and actually meet people? People just shoot that DM now? Like, damn. Nothing's out. genuine. Nothing's genuine. It's all So about. now y'all getting to the point of saying, so it's everything. It's love fake, though. Like, is it not realistic no more? It's not that it's fake. It's just it's, it's misconstrued. And it's just, it's it's kind of shrouded with misconception. So, like, those dating apps, right? It, right. All that, in my opinion, I've come across a lot of people through through work that use those apps, and these are people who make six figures and higher. And I remember one dude came in, and he was like, he immediately goes to see what career they had, and he based it off of that. And then he looks at um, how they look, physical appearance, yeah. and then he'll go. You can filter it now too. Yeah. Like if I wanted to see a guy that is, is at least over six yeah, foot, bro, you yeah, can filter bro. it. You can pay this extra so what's money. What's some of your filters? Huh? What's some of your filters? <laughs> So how often do you use these day now? What's your favorite what's your favorite day now? Huh? What's your favorite day now? Um I was only on it for a little while. Tinder was too like hookup-ish guy. Now I don't know if it's different for guys and girls, but guys are ballsy on these dating apps. Cause they don't want to do They go stuff. straight to sending the pictures and just all you can kinds say pictures of on the day map. I thought it was just straight words. Oh no, I, I, I don't really use them. Um, I always Dick found face. it to be difficult. I'd rather just verbally be right here speaking than to be typing it and putting all this shit. I've used day map before. Do you find it hard to meet people organically though? Because we're so like toned into our phones. The mm. she took she took all the questions. Like, no, it's seriously, not because like, like I mean, yeah, you can go out no, and meet somebody at a bar. And... That falls on the discipline, uh, honestly. I could put, I could not, tur- I could turn my phones off and not touch them all day tomorrow. Whoa, whoa, it falls, whoa, whoa. It falls on a discipline. Flag honestly. on the play, brother. My phone almost broke the other week, bro. I almost passed out. I was weak. Like, I almost fit. So it's a difference between not having it because that's your lifeline, meaning that's how you communicate with in your position, FAs and, and coaches and things of that sort. For me, it would be my daughter, my, my, my family, things of that sort. For you, your family and whomever. But like to just have be on that phone constantly going through different dating apps, different social medias, you know, unnecessary bullshit. That's that's what hinders it. It falls on the discipline. You could put your phone down and speak. I, I, but like I, when you're going, like say you're going out with friends and stuff, you don't think like, oh, I want to go like meet like a cute girl tonight, or like you're going out with the boys. It's the now, boys, bro. It's, it's like boys. at night sometimes. Like I've noticed this too, like because I have friends that do it and. At night, a certain time of night, they're like, oh, I want to see, like, what's going on on Hinge or on Tinder. For sure. You know, it's like a certain time when you're like, oh, I want to find somebody now. Like, right fuck. now. Yeah. But like, what, is, what is the are, success rate of finding someone now? A lot of people, like, it's don't hard. have the patience to find the person that they're looking for. And so they'll just either rush into relationships, like, get with somebody that they don't really, like, actually truly care about mm-hmm. that makes mm-hmm. sense 
I'm like, what is the success rate? I mean, you use it a little bit probably. I know I have. What is your success rate on that? Have you ever I have already, that so I have already used it. I ain't... Success rate on dating. Not dating. Oh, dating. Not hooking oh, up. Not uh, hooking up. So, <laughs> like taking well, a garage key or like Well, I was British, talking the app. Like, I was talking about the app. But I'm going to say the success rate as far as dating. Like, have you came across a lot of women in your life that you felt like was a waste of time? Like, what's the point? Like, you like, in your mind, Josh, like, what's the point? Why not keep doing this? Like, F it. This is going to be me to the end. Uh, I haven't got to that extent. I mean, I've been on a few dates where it was just like, you know, I felt I felt it out, and then I'm like, okay, I'm not going to waste time with it. I don't feel like I waste my time, but I will also say I kind of been lately hindered. I, I just I don't know. I've been kind of turned off to the whole just giving time and energy mm-hmm. towards dating someone. I recently did, you know, and I would say that even felt it felt weird, not because of the person, but it just felt weird because in the back of my mind I was like, I hope this ain't a waste of time, you know? Okay, and it's okay. just because of all the bullshit of what I, it's like in the back of my head, I'm like, I hope that whatever expectations that they have, that is realistic and that is like pure. I hope it isn't someone thinking that they're trying to come up or get freebies or something like that. Hmm. And then I was like, I hope I'm not wasting my time. So, Do you think you think those things because of a past experience with somebody? Of course. 100%. Past experience with someone, but also what I see like a, every like day. trauma. <laughs> it, I wouldn't say trauma, but it's just past experience. Because that was something for then, me. Like trying mm. to meet new people, I was like, oh my God, is he going to be just like the last one? Mm. You know? For you, you said you used dating app a little bit. What are some of the weirdest things you encountered by actually, I'm assuming you actually met people through the app before, right? You met up with a couple of people before. What are some of the weirdest things you encounter by going on these blind dates with these people for my app? Reason I say it's blind because you actually don't know this person. You just see photos. It can be catfish. We see catfish all the time. So what were some of the, I'm saying, weirdness or awkwardness you've seen on these dates, dating these people or trying to date? Yeah. I, there was not a lot of people that I actually met up with. There's a lot of swiping. So but then I like, that you did, you as a female, where... it's different because you get nervous meeting people that you don't know. And then, like, a lot of the guys want you to come over to their house. Like, mm-hmm. I'm not going to come over mm-hmm. to your house if I don't know come you. Come over to that house, baby. Some do, though. They the, do. And the, they do. The and I think that's why they try it. Yeah. Nah, for sure. So you ain't ran into no awkwardness when you finally met her. It could have been one no, I, I, Yeah, I've went on a date, but like, the conversation Talk wasn't about there. It. Um. <laughs> And then it's like, I don't know. For me, if the conversation know. isn't yeah. there, um, he knows, like, he we he know me for a long since we was kids, but, like, um, the conversation has to be there for, for me. Sure. Right. Because, um, and the, uh, I could be attracted physically, but um, if, if, the, if the conversation isn't there and then I'm not able to connect with you, kind of like... Um, mentally i guess i could say then i kind of you know that's right. when i start to reevaluate and i'm checking things off do you kind of know instantly yeah yeah same mm. i'm like oh this is we're probably not gonna go on another date because <laughs> it's just like I, I have you ever asked have, has anybody ever asked you that oh do you want to see me again <laughs> no but i but i was recently i and you're was like oh i was recently told that the person was surprised that i was still talking to them they said i, I thought you would have moved on by now I, I I got told that today actually, um, but so why did you move on? What kept you there even though you thought it was awkward? Well, this um, what did you think this person was? So awkward? I'm dating. I'm not with anyone, so this is someone else. But um, I don't know. It's like when the way I met her was through conversation and everything that we seem to talk about. Through dating that right? Like, or was it no, person? Person? no. The, I met her at a wing stop. So okay. Um, everything that we're talking about, we have a lot of things in common. It turns out, you know. Um, and I'm actually genuinely interested in what she speaks on, and I assume vice versa. But um, yeah, hmm. interesting. Do she make some good wings? Uh, I don't know. She uh, she doesn't work. I said, I said, I said hey, she said wings. I thought about all the great flavors, the honey habanero. Like, can she whip up some of those for the next set? I'm just saying. 